Hello students, welcome to lecture 10 on the chapter wave optics. Till lecture 9, we discuss the theory on the chapter. So, in this session, we will discuss the numericals on the chapter wave optics. Now, first let us start with the numerical on wave nature of light. Monochromatic light of wavelength 589 nanometer is incident from air on a water surface. What are the wavelength, frequency and speed of reflected and refracted light? Refractive index of the water is 1.33. Now let us try to picturize the problem. The ray is incident on the water surface. So, some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets refracted. Now, we know the refractive index of air is 1 and the refractive index of water as given is 1.33. Now, taking these things into account, let us try to find the wavelength, frequency and speed. Now, in the given condition, we have wavelength lambda is equal to 589 nanometer which can be written as 589 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter and mu that is refractive index is equal to 1.33. We need to understand that the frequency of the light does not change due to the phenomenon of reflection or refraction. So, frequency remains unaltered. Now, let uh, nu be the frequency of light then the refractive index can be written as the ratio of c by v which can be further written as lambda into nu divided by lambda dash into nu which is equal to lambda by lambda dash where nu is the frequency of light and since frequency does not change it gets cancelled. So, we say c is speed of light in air, v is speed of light in water, lambda is wavelength of light in air, lambda dash is wavelength of light in water. Now, we could write this because speed of wave is equal to the product of wavelength and frequency. Now, since the reflected ray lies in the air medium, the wavelength as given is lambda is equal to 589 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Speed of light in air is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Frequency nu is equal to c divided by lambda. So, therefore, we can write it has 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 589 into 10 raised to minus 9 which is equal to 5.093 into 10 raised to 14 hertz. Similarly, for refracted ray which lies in the water medium, the wavelength lambda dash is equal to lambda divided by mu from the formula. So, on solving we get it as 422.85 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter or 422.85 nanometer. Now, speed of light in water is V is equal to C divided by mu which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 1.33. On solving, we get it as 2.255 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The frequency since it remains unaltered, we get frequency nu is equal to c divided by lambda which is 5.093 into 10 raised to 14 hertz. Write it down once to understand the steps and calculate by yourself. Let us go with index numerical on Doppler effect. 
what speed should a galaxy move with respect to us so that the sodium line at 589.0 nanometer is observed at 589.6 nanometer so we have a sodium line whose wavelength is 589 nanometer but due to the relative motion between us and the galaxy the sodium line appears to be having the wavelength of 589.6 nanometer now since the wavelength is increasing the motion between us and the galaxy should be away from each other so since the galaxy moves away from each other we know that that the product of frequency and wavelength is equal to velocity so therefore the change in frequency to the original frequency is equal to change in wavelength to the original wavelength so here we can write this because as frequency increases wavelength decreases and when frequency decreases wavelength increases now here nu is frequency delta nu is change in frequency lambda is wavelength delta lambda is change in wavelength now change in wavelength can be calculated as 589.6 minus 589 which is equal to 0.6 nanometer now we have delta nu upon nu is equal to minus delta lambda by lambda which is equal to minus v radial divided by c where v radial is the velocity with which the galaxy moves away from us and c is the speed of light now v radial can be given as c into change in wavelength divided by wavelength that is 0.6 divided by 589 we get it as 3.06 into 10 raised to 5 meter per second or 306 kilometer per second let us move to the next numerical on interference So the first numerical interference is two slits are made one millimeter apart, and the screen is placed one meter away. What is the fringe separation when blue-green light of wavelength five hundred nanometer is used? So what we have is we have two slits, which are at a distance of one millimeter away from each other, and we have a screen which is placed at the distance of one meter. from the slits now the light of wavelength 500 nanometer is made to fall on the screen due to which we get interference pattern so we are using blue green light to get the interference we have been asked to find the fringe separation now we know fringe separation or fringe width is the distance between the two alternative bright or dark fringes so here we have taken the distance between two alternative bright fringes we know the distance between the slits is 1 mm distance between the slits and the screen is 1 meter and wavelength is 500 nanometer the fringe separation or fringe width is given as beta is equal to lambda into capital d divided by small d on substituting the values we get beta Is equal to five hundred to ten days to minus nine into one divided by one into ten days to minus three. And after mathematical operation, we get the fringe width beta to be equal to five hundred into ten days to minus six meters or zero point five nanometer, sorry millimeter. Let us go on to the second numerical on interference. in young's double slit experiment the slits are separated by 0.28 mm and the screen is placed 1.4 meter away the distance between the central bright fringe and the fourth bright fringe is measured to be 1.2 cm determine the wavelength of the light used in the experiment so very same we have double slits separated by the distance 0.28 mm in this case and we have a screen which is at a distance of 
4 meter. We get the interference pattern on the screen due to the light from the two slits. And now the distance of the fourth bright fringe, you know, try to understand central bright fringe, we take it n is equal to 0, then we have n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. So the distance of fourth bright from the central bright fringe is 1.2 centimeter. It is 1.2 centimeter. So taking these conditions into account, we write given d is equal to 0 0.28 mm, capital D distance between screen and slits is 1.4 mm, the distance of fourth bright fringe from the central bright is 1.2 centimeter. So distance of n bright fringe from the central bright fringe is given as xn which is equal to n into lambda capital D by small d. So the wavelength of the light used is so we can write it as lambda is equal to xn into small d divided by n into capital D. So therefore, we substitute the respective values of xn, small d, n and capital D. And on calculation, we get the value of lambda to be equal to 0 0.06 into 10 days to minus 5 meter, which can also be written as 600 into 10 days to minus 9 meter, which is equal to 600 nanometer. Let us go to the next numerical on the interference. In Young's double slit experiment using monochromatic light of wavelength lambda, the intensity of light at a point on the screen where path difference is lambda is k units. What is the intensity of the light at a point where path difference is lambda by 3? Now let us again consider two slits which gives us the light. Now there is a screen placed at certain distance. And here we have way intensity pattern of the interference. So at central maximum or at the central bright fringe where the path difference is 0, we have maximum intensity. At lambda by 2, we have 0 intensity or minimum intensity at, at 1 lambda. At lambda, we have again maximum intensity and so on. So therefore, what we have is at 0, we have maximum intensity, at lambda by 2, we have minimum intensity and at 1 lambda, we have maximum intensity. Now, if we take the intensity pattern with respect to the part difference at 1 lambda or at lambda, the intensity is given to be k units and we have been asked to find the intensity at a point where the path difference is lambda by 3. Now obviously the intensity at the point where the path difference is lambda by 3 will be less than that of equal to k. Now let i naught be the intensity at any point on the screen due to one of the double slits. Now intensity at any point where the phase difference is phi is i is equal to 4 times of i naught into cos square of phi by 2. For path difference lambda, phase difference is phi is equal to 2 pi. At a point of path difference lambda, intensity is i is equal to 4 times of i naught which is equal to k. Now for path difference lambda by 3, phase difference is phi is equal to 2 times of pi divided by 3. Then intensity at the point of path difference lambda by 3 is given as i is equal to 4 i naught cos square of 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 because we have phi at the point of path difference lambda by 3 as 2 pi by 3. Then i is equal to 4 i naught into cos square of pi by 3. Cos pi by 3 is cos 60 and cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2. So therefore, i is equal to 4 times of i naught into 1 by 2 the whole square. Finally, the intensity at the point of part difference lambda by 3 is i is equal to 4 times of i naught divided by 4. Hence, we write it as k by 4.
the next numerical on interference is in a double slit experiment the angular width of the fringe is found to be 0 0.2 degree on a screen placed 1 meter away the wavelength of the light used is 600 nanometer what will be the angular width of the fringe if the entire experimental apparatus is immersed in water take refractive index of water to be 4 by 3 now again consider the double slits separated by certain distance and we have a screen away from the plane of slits now here the distance between the screen and the slits is 1 meter now when 600 nanometer light falls on the screen we get the interference pattern consisting bright and dark fringes now when we calculate the angular separation between the two dark fringes which is also the fringe width width of the fringe so we get it as beta is equal to 0 0.2 degree now the whole apparatus is immersed in water when the whole apparatus is immersed in water then wavelength changes when wavelength changes the fringe width also changes now here as shown in the diagram the fringe width decreases now why it decreases because we know fringe width is directly proportional to lambda wavelength so we'll go with this so we have beta is equal to 0 0.2 degree it is now d is equal to 1 meter lambda is equal to 600 nanometer and refractive index mu is equal to 4 by 3 now angular fringe width in air is beta is equal to lambda by d it is angular fringe width where wavelength lambda dash if it is wavelength in water it depends on refractive index as mu is equal to c by v which is equal to lambda into nu divided by lambda dash into nu which is equal to lambda by lambda dash that is the angular fringe width can be given as beta dash is equal to lambda dash by d. Now beta dash by beta can be written as lambda dash by d divided by lambda by d which is equal to lambda dash by lambda. And since we know mu refractive index is equal to lambda by lambda dash, we can write beta dash by beta is equal to 1 upon mu. Now taking the relation beta dash by beta is equal to 1 by mu we write it as 3 by 4 so therefore the fringe width in water is equal to 3 by 4 times of beta which is equal to 3 by 4 times of 0 0.2 degree and hence the fringe width angular fringe width of the pattern in water is 0 0.15 degree so today we have tried to solve the numericals on the wave nature, the Doppler effect and the interference. So in the next session we will continue our discussion on numericals on interference again and then we will go with the problems on diffraction and polarization. Thank you.